Very many thanks for the three cases of chocolate so kindly sent by the work people of your firm. The contents have been distributed and have been much appreciated by the men who admire the kindly thoughts that prompted the gift. In 1914, the Cadbury factory at Bourneville, near Birmingham, employed over 6,000 people. During the First World War, over 2,000 of their men went to fight in France and Belgium. Women replaced the men in the factories. Not only did they keep the production of Cadbury's chocolate up to the level of pre-war, but they also produced chocolates for the troops. At present, we're in billets behind the firing line. You will be interested to hear that enormous quantities of our celebrated chocolate is sent out there in the form of presents. Needless to say, it is greatly appreciated by all ranks. Grateful recipients sent the following letters, one of which came from Egypt. It is very kind of the girls at Bourneville to give up their spare time to make these extra comforts for us. Socks are about one of the most useful things you could have sent. Because as you may guess, I'm not a dawn hand at yarning yet. But if the war lasts much longer, I feel sure I shall become quite expert. Almost 30,000 parcels were sent out to the troops on the front line. This year, Cadbury Dairy Milk has partnered with the Royal British Legion to say... Thank you to the First World War generation who served sacrificed and changed our world. Music